Right. Yeah. So it's a very interesting question because um, uh, in nature and in the the materials that we develop, there's no like one size fits all kind of design solution that will <clears throat> that's kind of magical and will work for any kind of application. Okay. When when we what we find is that um, depending on whether you try to develop a material that resists uh, 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 cutting, for example, or or sharp puncture like your protective material. Um, or maybe you want to define uh, to develop a material that's very strong when you try to flex it. You will find that the type of architecture and this that's perfect for each of these applications may be quite different. Actually, mm -hmm. uh, that that being said, there are some um, kind of universal patterns that um, that are found um, in these natural materials, and one of them is the brick wall, essentially structure where you just like a brick wall. So you have the hard blocks are like the bricks. And then the weak interfaces are the, the mortar, essentially, of the bricks, the adhesives of the bricks. And then if you look, it's quite interesting because if you, <clears throat> if you look at, at, a, at, a, at a house, for example, so I spent, I spent about 13 years in Montreal, actually, before moving to Colorado. And there's a lot of uh, uh, old houses, brick uh, wall houses. And, um, and sometimes you can see cracks that propagate maybe from the corner of a window. And the crack is being deflected by the mortar, right? So we find this type of uh, a lot of the same mechanics actually in brick wall. So this this structure of brick wall is actually you can find in the many seashells use that trick. So they make literally like 2D or 3D microscopic brick walls where you have some uh, mineral plates or tablets which are basically yeah. attached by uh, by proteins by by bioadhesives, right? Yeah. And so it's it's quite fascinating to find that. Uh, uh, in materials that are taken from animals, which are completely different, right? On the ev yeah. evolutionary tree, there are totally different families of materials. You find that somehow nature converged to the same uh, general solution to 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 solve the similar mechanical yeah. problems, right?